Let's bring in my next guest, Trump 2020 campaign press secretary, Kaylee McEnany. Great to see you, Kaylee. Good to see you, Liz. Okay, this should be a wake-up call to Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. The majority of Democrats who support their government-run health care lost their midterm races. Your reaction? Yeah, that's exactly right. Lost their midterm races. And now we see Elizabeth Warren fledgling in the polls, uh, losing, you know, half of the support that she had gained. And she's losing because of Medicare for all, which is really government takeover of health care. When Americans learn the details, uh, the prospects of Medicare for all fall in the polls. And so, too, do the prospects of Elizabeth Warren being the Democrat nominee. Yeah, the numbers coming in from Sabato's crystal ball is 45 percent, only 45. Looks like 55 percent of the Democrats who support uh, government-run health care lost their races. And let's take you to Canada. A British Columbia Supreme Court case now underway notes possibly thousands of single-payer patients dying annually on the wait list for surgery there. Not enough anesthesiologists for cancer surgeries, brain surgeries, aneurysm. They're dying in Canada. That's right. And this is a startling case that this is coming to fruition, but it's not startling that this has been happening. Going back to 2014, the Fraser Institute calculated that about 63,090 women might have lost their lives waiting for care in Canada. Surprise, surprise, government takeover leads to wait times, leads to casualties, it happens in the UK, it happens in Canada, and now we have more proof of that. You know what's breaking news coming in? Joe Biden just telling Fox News' Peter Ducey that he will not appear Voluntary, voluntarily at an impeachment trial. Your reaction to that? Yeah, Joe Biden doesn't want to incriminate himself. He is, after all, quid pro Joe. Uh, he is the only person, not President Trump, Joe Biden, who engaged in a quid pro quo, his son Hunter getting that lucrative deal, a prosecutor being fired in the process. There are a lot of questions here to be answered. Joe Biden doesn't want to incriminate himself. I guess I can't blame him there. Kelly, a recent Quinnipiac poll shows Elizabeth Warren lost half of her national support. In just one month's time, we reported on camera that the day she released her plan to pay for her government takeover of health care was a day her campaign would blow up on the launch pad. Because he, I want your reaction to this. Even Obama officials near attendant Kathleen Sebelius said their idea is absurd, that they never got 60 votes for anything. So why should voters go for their government takeover health, of health care? Sure, and you saw Pete Buttigieg echoing that and questioning Liz Warren, and it was at that moment in the debates where her prospects started to sink when even her fellow Democrats said, hey, how are you going to pay for this? And she didn't have an answer. But all of the Democrats, whether it's Liz Warren or Joe Biden, who has a public option that would have the same inevitable outcome as government takeover, either one of them will lead to disastrous results for the country. And, and the more the American public learns about that, uh, the more they're going to fall in the polls. You know what's interesting? The Democrat debates no longer a factor. No clear winners emerging. They're still playing to the fringe in terms of health care, taxes, and more. Uh, what's really interesting is Michael Bloomberg doing an end run around that, skipping uh, the debates, skipping out and campaigning to focus on Super Tuesday, plowing money into battleground states. I want to get to this. Re Nebraska Republican Senator Ben Sass really tearing into Michael Bloomberg for saying that Chinese Communist Party leaders are, that the leader there is not a dictator, that basically they listen to the public. He's saying, Senator Sass says, quote, this is a kind of stupid, you can't, stupid, you cannot. Stupid.